Time now for the Glace Bay Minor Hockey Association's Drills and Skills Program. And now let's go to the classroom and Glace Bay Minor Hockey Association Development Coordinator, Ken Tracy. Drill, and basically what we're looking for in this drill is uh, to get the body going, get the blood flowing in, in the body, and also the purpose is that remembering flow drills is to warm up goaltenders. So how it starts out, we're going to set uh, bodies up in the corner on this side and down low on the opposite side also. Bodies. With pucks. Everybody has pucks. All right, on the whistle, the coach's whistle, F1's going to leave the corner, come down wide. He's going to get a shot on net, but I want him to shoot that puck to the net and also follow up to the next stop. F2, what you're going to do is you're going to come up around the center ice circle, curl back towards the opposite net, shot on net around the top of the circle, stop to the net. Good habit stopping to the net. F3, you're going to come up again and then you're going to go completely around the center ice circle, back towards the far net, and it's a shot. But what I want you to do is to stop to the net also. As that is happening, uh, the group down here is doing the same thing. All right, shot to the net. I want you stopping. F2 again, around the circle. All right, shot to the net, stopping to the net. F3 is doing basically the same thing as we did in the far corner, completely around the circle, shot to the net. That way we're getting three shots to the net. The goalies, it's important. What you want to be looking at here is spacing your shots. The goaltender is always facing the shot, and uh, they're, they're making sure that uh, we don't have two or three pucks going on them at the same time. Uh, you want a good net drive here, but the, the key uh, thing to this here, this drill, is that you don't want uh, your forward shooting the puck and curling off left or right. What you want to be doing is getting the good habits and looking for rebounds. Okay, this next drill is what we call the Extreme Edge 2 versus 0 uh, support drill. And how it happens is uh, what we're looking for is uh, we've got defensemen set up in the corner, forwards at uh, middle ice, and we work it at both, at both ends here. So on the coach's whistle, we want this D-man here to sprint to the top of the circle. Now he's going to backpedal all the way back. He's going to turn. While he's doing that, his defense partner is pushing a puck behind the net. We want him to skate in to the puck. As he is doing that, we've got F1 here. You're going to come down to the hash marks and you're going to post up. F2, this is where we look for the support guy. He's going to come down, curl down low, be in a good support position. The D man is going to bump the puck to F1. All right. Now we're moving our feet up ice. We're going to bump it to this guy, F2. All the way up ice for a shot on net. And this guy here is going to follow up for rebounds. Important, don't curl off left or right, but you want to go directly to the net. All right, so we, we work this drill at both ends. Same thing on the other end. The D is pushing up, coming back, picking up a puck here. We got F1 posting up here. F2, again, it's a pass, bump it, and away we go. Two versus O, oh, down ice for a shot on net. And again, following a shot to the net, we use the term Nose over toes when you're going to the net, not straight up because you're looking for rebounds. Uh, some teaching points on this drill, basically, you got the D-man backpedaling, so we're working on some backpedaling. So, so important when he picks that puck up to make a good first pass to his forward out of the zone. And it's so important for the D, or for the forward, I'm sorry, to pick that pass up, present a good target. And also, we have good support on the puck with F2. If he loses that puck, then we have support there to recover it right away. Okay, what we're going to work on now is a basic one-on-one -on -one, uh, drill here. How we set it up is we've got forwards in the corner, D at the top of the blue line, and we work it at a both ends again. After a while, we'll switch up and we'll, we'll switch, in, uh, switch sides and do it from both sides because it's what we want to do here. On the start of the whistle, this forward here is going to bump the puck all the way up to the D. He's going to receive it. He's going to walk across the blue line. And we want to get a shot, hopefully coming from the middle of the ice. As he's doing that, 
This forward that makes the pass, he's coming to the net, stick on the ice, looking for a rebound or a redirect here. You get one quick shot at it, uh, he comes across, there'll be a coach here with pucks, he comes across, the coach will bump a puck up to him, as he's doing that, this D-man here is going to come across, all right, set himself up here, and what we're going to do is we're going to play one versus one up ice this way. All right, we're going to work the same thing out of the other side here, but what we're looking for is the one-on-ones here. We're looking for this D-man to close good gaps on the, on the puck here himself, take away his time and space. Uh, this is what we consider good ice right here, so where, that's where, that's where you, as a D-man, you don't want that puck here in. So it's all about good angles, tight gaps, and keeping that puck carrier to the outside, the bad ice, what we call bad ice. You want to get in the zone, uh, the forward wants to get a shot on that, he wants to score obviously, but that D, that's your job. You want to treat it like a game-like situation, and you don't allow him to go to the net. So we want to see a little compete here, all right? So we work this drill out of both ends. Okay, we've got a little uh, two versus two drill here. We call it the minors two versus two. And what we're looking for here uh, is, is uh, good smart shots from the D to the net. The forwards go to the net, it sticks on the ice, look for tips or rebounds here. This is in the, uh, the offensive zone. How the drill works, we set up forwards in both corners and D at the blue lines. First whistle from the coach, this forward here is gonna make a pass in this D. Again, we're going to walk, try to walk to the middle of the ice for a shot. Same time, this, this forward here is going to the net looking for a re redirect or a rebound. He stops to the net. Second whistle, same thing on the other side. I mean, this D is going to walk to the middle. It's a shot. This forward's going to the, to the net for net presence. Now we've got two in front of the net. So we get one quick shot at it here, all right, to drive, to drive the puck home. The third whistle, we'll have a coach set up here. He's going to bump a puck across, and these two forwards are going to come up ice and play these two D here, two versus two up ice. The key to two versus two is, again, in defense, when you want to close gaps, you want to take away time and space from the puck carriers, give them less time to think with the puck. But it's important when you enter the, uh, your, your zone, the D zone, that uh, the defensemen are really communicating with, e with each other down low. So, you want, to, you want to communicate down low in the, uh, in the defensive zone in this area here, all right? And you really want to compete. The forwards really want to compete and communicate with each other also. So we're going to leave this drill go for a little bit until we score or the coaches blow the whistle and we start the drill over again from down here.